Hello, YouTubers. The new time travel Jaime88. I'm back with another Doctor Who DVD review. And yes, we're still celebrating Doctor Who's 50th anniversary. So today, I'm doing another Doctor Who DVD review. It is the fifth Doctor's first story. It is Doctor Who, Cast of Alba. Yes, this is a very nice story. And I love it. Good episode. This four-part story originally transmitted on January 4th, 5th, 11, and the 12th, 1982. And this is Peter Davison's first full episode as the Doctor. The story takes place immediately after the events of Logopolis. So, following his regeneration, the Doctor is still weak. His companions, Tegan, Nyssa, and Adric, had tried to take him to the TARDIS, but they're temporarily caught by security guards and puts the three companions under arrest. But they cause them to divert it, so they take the doctor back to the TARDIS and be taken to the Zero Room, that claims the Time Lord's technology to heal allow him to recover. While he wait for to recover, Tegan and Nyssa discover a terminal on a TARDIS that describe how to use the machine. So they have to figure out manually by pilot the TARDIS and traveling rapidly to a present time and destination, Event 1, the Big Bang trap set by the Master. After they find unable to find Adric, the woman managed to bring the doctor out of the zero room to the console room, time for him to jettison a quarter of a TARDIS mass to proper them back to the conventional time. So soon discovered the zero room was part of a jettison mass. The doctor helped of Nyssa building a temporary coffin shaped zero cabinet from the zero room door. Tegan discovered the information of the dwelling of the sympathy, sympathetic city of Castavalva, on on Castavalva, an ideal place for the doctor to recover and direct the TARDIS there. The two companions, Tegan and Nyssa, are still having difficulty transporting the doctor on Castavalva and became separated from him. He is captured by the warrior protecting the dwellings, while the woman is forced to climb off the rocky cliff so to reach into the entrance so the doctors carry for the sort saw Donovan and I burn him in the elderly poor tree before Nyssa and Tegan arise at night so they discover a strange expert of the dwelling they cannot find an exit and appear to circle back at the same plaza at the tapestry, the doctor's room changed and reflecting the events outside the world. He under the doctors understand they have been trapped in a recursion recursive occasion and that the dwellings are fake. Poetry reveals himself as a master. So he uses web to destroy the web and has found Adric caught in their web. So the master has been able to use mathematic genius with a block transfer. To computing Logopolis to create the dwellings as well alter the TARDIS, creating a terminal on a console that led them here. So Sardovan swings through the channeling and destroying the web and frees Adric, calls him the reality of the dwelling fall apart. So he took his Sardon save his own took his own life and the Master fled this TARDIS was disguised as a fireplace. So, Doctor's companion run from the city, and the Master appeared to be trapped. He is unable to escape. The city collapsed on itself. So, at that time, the travelers return to the TARDIS, and Doctor indicates he has fully recovered from the generation ordeal. And he says, who piloted the ship? It is Tegan, but unfortunately, the TARDIS computer manual override using automatic system. So, let me give you guys my opinion, my 
So a lot of people saying, give your opinion about the story. So my opinion of the story, Castle Valva, it's a great continuity. It's the ending of the New Beginning trilogy. The like fourth dot, you know, from Keeper Tracking, Locopolis to that. And I gotta tell you, yeah, this is a very magnificent, op great opening to the story. Has a pre teaser opening and recapping from Locopolis. And, and all that, the, the costumes, the set decoration is quite magnificent. And I love this episode. So I give this 10 out of 10. Great episode. Um, let's take a look over here. You see, we have the master. Here's the fifth doctor. Uh, the Casa Valva. Here's Tegan and Nyssa in the TARDIS. And the BBC video. Doctor Who. Uh, the Peter Davison years, 1982 to 1984. Here's the spine. And here's the back. Um, we have some DVD extras. Take a look. We have audio commentary by actors Peter Davison, Janet Fielding, and Matthew Waterhouse with writer Christopher M. Bennett and director Fiona Cumming. Being Doctor Who, directing Casa Valva, The Crowded Tardis, Swamp Shop, Blue Peter, Deleted Scenes, Music Videos, Music Only Opinion, Trails and Continuity Announcements, DD-ROM Features, and so forth. Here's the disc for Castavalva. Although this story was not first in production, it was Peter Davison's story, Fourth to Doomsday, was was on was going in production, was filmed first before Castavalva, according to the Doctor Who DVD um, continuity. That's in production reference mm -hmm. so and for the first time ever is credit instead of saying doctor who in the credits it was credit saying the doctor from now on so this episode introduced the modified starfield title sequence featuring peter davidson shot on a head headshot I mean, headshot, sorry, headshot. And, and instead of being a Saturday times um, slot, they went to a twice weekly, twice weekly episode. So, yes. That's it for this episode. If you have any Doctor Who DVD review that you would like me to request, post a comment down below. Till we meet again, this is the new Time Travel Jaime 88 saying good night.